Now in real life, it is practically impossible to be a superhero like Superman or the Green Lantern or any metahumans because we don't have any of those traits. The closest thing would be a non-powered superhero like Batman and his clan of non-powered superheroes like Robin, Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, etc, etc. However, the DC Universe is different because it is filled with a variety of magical beings along with metahumans due to mutations. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to be Superman in the DC Universe. Now some background on Superman. He is a Kryptonian who was sent by his parents to Earth for the destruction of the planet Krypton. Due to his exposure of solar radiation from a yellow sun, which is different from the red sun back at his planet, caused him to manifest superhuman abilities. He possesses the ability to fly, go into space without a suit, has incredible superhuman strength, near invulnerability, can only be harmed by the element kryptonite. He has multiple different types of visions, including heat vision, which is one of the most popular, along with telescopic vision, microscopic vision, x-ray vision, and so much more. You can hear faint sounds from thousands of miles away, his lungs are capable of holding air for a long period of time, and can compress the air and exhale it into a freezing wind. These are some of the most common superpowers Superman has, as it varies depending on the writer and what kind of media it's being portrayed on. So the first way to being Superman is to be a Kryptonian. If you're one of the lucky people that survived the destruction of Krypton, like General Zod and his subordinates, the city of Kandor, which was miniaturized and captured by the supervillain Brainiac, or Supergirl. Tying into this is that if you're also a descendant of a Kryptonian, you would also have their powers. For instance, even though he's a clone, Superboy, or Cal Kent, a descendant of Superman who is said to be even more powerful than his famous ancestor. Due to thousands and thousands of years living on planet Earth, along with intermarriages between the Superman dynasty, creating a more powerful Superman each time. The second way is to acquire them through wishing. Because the DC Universe, like I said before, is filled with a lot of magic. So there are definitely some sort of beings that can grant you Superman's powers if wished for or asked for or through a deal, like a demon or a genie or something else. Like for instance, Mr. Mixius Pitalik, an imp from the fifth dimension who usually likes to play pranks on the Justice League, but has the ability to grant people powers, for instance, Superman's. Or asking a genie that has been kicked out of the fifth dimension and been brought to Earth you could probably wish for the same power as Superman, though you might have to be very specific in your wish because they might fuck you over otherwise. Or you can have a deal with a demon, a lot of them are there too, that will grant you the powers for a condition, like your soul or something. The third method is using kryptonite, which sounds ironic, but the kryptonite's powers vary depending on the color. Now usually kryptonite is a green colored crystallized rock that emits a specific type of radiation which weakens Kryptonians, but is harmless to humans in the short term. However, it can cause cancer with long period of use, which is what happened to Lex Luthor after he started wearing the kryptonite ring on his finger. For gaining superpowers, however, there's two specific kryptonites that have this ability. The first one is called Kryptonite X, created by Supergirl on accident, and when she throws it away, her cat Streaky comes into possession of this and becomes a super cat. Though, according to DC fandom, not as powerful as Superman or Supergirl, but still more powerful than a normal cat and most normal human beings. The other kryptonite that provides you powers is kryptonite platinum. This was found by Superman and he gave it to Batman because he wanted Batman to have his, the same powers as him. And what this does is that any non-Kryptonian humanoids that touch it becomes a Kryptonian and I can only assume because Kryptonite in itself is radioactive that touching this causes a mutation of your DNA to become a Kryptonian. And the fourth way to become Superman comes from the old cartoon Crypto the Superdog which follows Superman's dog who was sent before him to Metropolis as well by accident and there 
he is adopted by a kid named Kevin and becomes Crypto the Superdog who deals in animal related issues and problems and animal related supervillains. In one of the episodes, the neighborhood cat, whose also name was Streaky, as Ty and the Supergirl's cat as well, follows Crypto into a lab where both of them are hit with a cloning ray and this cloning ray provides the cat with Crypto's superpowers and he becomes Streaky the Super Cat just like Supergirl's cat. So if you can weaken a Kryptonian with normal kryptonite and take him to a cloning ray, you could possibly have the same powers by getting hit with a cloning ray at the same time. 